Then we're All back. Right, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everyone. <laughs> Get your camera ready, boy, because you're going to want to see this. Welcome back to the cooking show, Faraday. And today we are making meatloaf. But not just any meatloaf, because I fucking hate meatloaf. I think it's disgusting. It just makes me sad. It makes me sad. So we're not making a sad meatloaf. We are making a fucking happy, delicious breakfast meatloaf sandwich. The reason it's breakfast, because it's got eggs in it, cheese, and bacon. Meatloaf is fucking gross. Here's why. It's a loaf of meat. <laughs> like, that's pure and simple. I don't know, that's a lot of fucking meat. Ketchup is always on or in meatloaf. Why? Ketchup is the most disgusting condiment. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's like I gave myself a challenge of like, here, let's make a meatloaf that even the haters are gonna love. I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> to me. That's off to me. What I'm gonna do first is grease my loaf pan. Like meatloaf. It's a weird, it's a gross word. It's like nut butter. It's like, <laughs> see? Laughs from the audience. Uh, this is nice and grease, put it aside. So this is the Kaiser roll. I, you need breadcrumbs. I think that the thing about meatloaf is it always had, has breadcrumbs in it, because the breadcrumbs are doing, and I'm gonna soak it in milk, it's gonna add moisture to this, which you need. This is a crazy meatloaf. There's like so much shit in here. Not so much shit in here. It's actually very simple, but it's like, dank. I just said dank, whatever. Okay, putting this in, we're gonna pulse it up. Hypnotizing. I just like got lost in this. Did you notice that? I just like stopped and I was just like staring at it. Look at this, this is so beautiful. Now we only need two thirds of a cup of this. One there, just like that. I'm gonna add some milk and just gonna soak it. And that's gonna make it even more moist. Give it a little stir. My water is boiling. I'm going to add my eggs in. So I've got three eggs here. We're gonna do five minute boiled eggs. So. A little bit of garlic, mince up this garlic, um, like so, just run your knife through it. Just roughly chop it, okay? Because you're gonna use the blade of your knife to make a paste with the salt. So about a teaspoon of salt, just on your cutting board right there. So we're just gonna take the blade of our knife and just mash it. Wasn't it squeaking? I've never heard it do that before. Salt has literally made this into such a paste and you're just using your knife, really smashing it in there. So in there. I'm gonna drain out some of this water in here. I'm just gonna run cold water over it. Grate our onion. Okay, watch your fingers on this. Check it out. Look, all that liquid had released. You don't need to squeeze this out or anything. I don't mind that there's a little extra liquid. It is starting to make me tear up a bit. Whew, we're gonna take our knife. You can squeeze out some. No, oh, it's hit me. Oh, it's got me. It's got me. <laughs> laugh, everyone laugh at me. Take this moment to enjoy the fact that I'm crying. Oh, I'm just holding it. I gotta get rid of it. That extra layer of protection, the goggles probably do help. Do you really wanna be that nerd wearing goggles while you're chopping an onion that takes literally five minutes? I think it's ridiculous. Oh, it's hit me. Oh, it's got me. <sighs> I'm okay now. Ground beef in this guy. One and a half pounds, probably. I'm just gonna put that in there. And we're using breakfast sausage. You have all those good breakfast sausage, like, vibes in there. Parmesan cheese, because cheese. A quarter teaspoon of fresh pepper, black pepper. And then maybe it's another two teaspoons or so of salt. Check the recipe. I don't remember exactly what it was. Put that in there. A little bit of cayenne. Um, so adds a little bit of heat to it. We're gonna crack two of our eggs in it. Just like that. This is an easy recipe. It is like a, you know, dump and stir type thing. I need like two tablespoons of parsley, I think. So, finally chop it. I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna mix all this together and then I'm gonna add the cheese into it. First, I do need, peel my eggs. Carefully peel it. You know what the trick to pe like getting your eggs to peel without like completely fucking shit up, is not using fresh eggs. And also having your eggs at room temperature makes them easier to peel and then makes them also not crack when they go into the water. This is mixed. Now I'm gonna add the cheese in. So I've got chunks of cheese, so I wanted to do it. You could grate cheese into there. I wanted to do cubes because I thought it'd be really fun to have 
pockets of cheese in it. I'm gonna take like two thirds of this mixture. Looks so beautiful. It doesn't. Push it into my greased up pan. I'm gonna make three little nests or holes. We're using our five minute eggs. They're a little bit softer in here. You can see it like they're not hard. There's like squishy and soft. It holds its shape in there. We're gonna put the rest of our meat back on top. And this is now the little eggs in the nests have their blanket on top. Okay, look at this, fuck. I really am a mad genius. <laughs> We've got our bacon, we tucked our eggs in. Now we're tucking our meat in, okay? <laughs> Stagger it on here and then tucking our bacon in to the sides because as the bacon cooks, it's gonna contract. We're putting bacon on top because bacon is gonna crisp up. Look at that, oh, yeah. look at that. I just literally was like, hmm, that was weird. <laughs> Sorry. I am putting a little tray underneath of this. It's not gonna bubble over, but you'll see like so much like, it's like cheese and fat and all that goodness like kind of pulls around this. 400 degree oven, we're not covering it with foil or anything. It's gonna go in there the whole time uncovered. Okay. There we go. For about an hour and 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. The meal is out of the oven. We let it rest as I mentioned, for about 15, 20 minutes. Meanwhile, while that's resting, you can prepare your sandwich. Remember that Kaiser roll? We're using them again. Slice this guy in half. Melt a little bit of butter in the old skillet. I'm using, that's right, craft Singles. Because I'm not better than fucking craft Singles, okay? You might be, and that's fine. You do you. I really like craft Singles. I think they melt really well. They're perfect for breakfast sandwiches. Because also, like, look how cute they are. Who doesn't love the fact that they come in these nice little floppy as plasticky things? It comes in what it's made with. So the butter is pretty much melted. Our bread is good to go. We're gonna go like this and toast it. Like this and toast it. You heard me say how many times that I hate ketchup? And I do. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But with a breakfast sandwich, I think that you have to dip your fucking sandwich in a combo of sriracha and ketchup. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix this and this. It's like a two to one ratio of sriracha. So put that on in there. Mix with your Heinz ketchup. Give it a little stir. I would normally squirt it on the plate or something and mix it together on the plate. Like you dip your sandwich in there and squirt it. Maybe I should've done that. Doesn't matter, I'm, I'm being classy right now and mixing it. Let's see what our bread looks like. Ooh, perfect. Okay, we're gonna cross section it like that. Ooh, perfect. Beautiful, okay. And now, what we're all here for, the loaf of meat. So, it's been sitting here and you're like, how do I get this out? What I do, because it's been sitting, it's like warm enough, just warm enough to handle, is that I go like this. And then like that. Yay. Oh, motherfucker, look at that. Look at this, how beautiful this is. Look at that. You can see the little pockets of cheese in there. Little pockets of cheese. Big old nest of egg right there. Perfectly cooked. Sat there and rested for a bit. That's so cute. But it's not done yet. This is gonna go into here. Just like that. But it gets better because we're gonna take this beautiful two pieces of cheese. I know, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna cover it up with this cheese. But it's cheese, so it's okay. Put it right there, I'm gonna take that off. We're gonna put this under our salamander, our broiler, whatever. It's gonna melt. It's good. Oh, it's ready. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. It's perfect. Look at the cheese, it's melted perfectly. The egg is nicely cooked in there. Look at the cheese, it keeps going. It just is the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Only time I fuck with ketchup, right here. Okay, look at this, a little dip -a It's good. That's so good. The bacon is crispy. You can taste the breakfast sausage. A little of that spice and the cayenne. Regardless if you want sriracha and ketchup or not, it's really good with it. The egg is in there. 
the cheese, little pockets of cheese with those like cubes of cheese. This is fucking insane. You're welcome. Ugh, God, it's so good. This shit, damn. For your ultimate breakfast meatloaf sandwich, click the link in the description below. Make this and then have it in your fridge so when you're hungover as fuck, the next day, you can just like do this and eat it for breakfast and you'll be so happy. This is ugh, the best. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you.